welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a really simple hair tutorial and it's this double twisted crown braid. I am in love. It just has that boho effortless vibe that is perfect for summer even though sadly summer is coming to an end. For this tutorial you only need one thing and that is bobby pins. I personally use about eight of them for this hairstyle but you'll need at least four. Before I get started I went ahead and curled my hair with my Numi 32mm wand and I curled all the pieces around my face away and then I curled the other pieces in opposite directions. I wasn't too particular about it and I just grabbed different sizes to really give me that effortless look. Now the important part, I think a really deep side part really makes this look. So mine's parted right at the arch of my brow, but feel free to part your hair as normal. And we're going to be working with two sections. So for the first section, you want to start halfway at your part and then grab almost all the way to the back of your head and you're going to want a section that is about one inch in size. And then directly below this section, you're going to want to grab our second section and it's going to be roughly the same size. You don't have to be too particular with this. So now that we have our two sections, what we're going to do is take the bottom one and you're going to want to pull it up in front of that top section and twist it around so it looks like this. So now what was our top section is now at the bottom. You're going to pick up another one inch size section of hair, join it into that bottom section and just make sure that it's completely tangle free. And then same thing that we did before, cross that bottom section up and then that top section will be at the bottom. I'm going to continue this halfway down my head stopping at just about my ear remembering to add hair to the bottom section as I go and just twisting it up and in front of the top piece. Once I've reached the top of my ear, I'm just going to stop and now it's time for my favorite part, pancaking the twists. So I just use my index finger and thumb and I'm just going to gently pull on the outside of the twists just to loosen them up and help them appear much larger and fuller. And what you want to do is just start small and then work your way bigger because it's easier to make the twists larger than it is to try to go back, undo them, and make them smaller. Once you're happy with the twists, you just want to go ahead and continue wrapping these two pieces of hair around each other all the way to the end of your hair and then go ahead and just pancake it some more. You don't have to be too particular at this point. You can always go back in later and make any adjustments. When it comes to pinning the twist into place, you want to keep in mind a circular shape. So you'll want to tightly cross the twist just above the base of the crown. Then direct the ends upwards and pin them into place creating an X with the bobby pins the best that you can. Once it's secure, just untwist the left out ends so that they blend in. Now for the twist that I just made, I'm going to create a second one doing the exact same steps, working with one inch sections and while I'm doing these twists, I'm just going to leave the front pieces out just to frame my face and give it that softer look. I like to stop before my ear and leave some hair down just to cover it. I find that it looks a little bit more flattering. And then from here, I'm just going to pancake the braid. Once it's nice and loose, just continue twisting till the end, pancake it, and then we can pin it into place. Now to pin this twist into place, same thing as before, cross it at the base of your crown below our previous twist, and then bring the ends upwards to help create that circular shape, and then pin them into place creating an X with those bobby pins. For the other side, I'm repeating the same steps, except I'm only going to create one twist so that it comes out nice and full. As I'm creating the twist, I'm just making sure to leave out those front pieces to give it a softer appearance. Oh, and of course, don't forget to pull and pinch on the twists to help them appear nice and large. 
Now for pinning this one, try your best to hide those previous bobby pins. If they match your hair, unlike mine, it will be a lot easier. Pull it tightly across the base of the crown and in between those two previous twists. Then take the ends and tuck them underneath that bottom twist and pin it into place underneath. Once I'm happy with it, I like to gently pull on small pieces of hair at the crown of my head just to give the illusion of some volume and add some extra detail. So there you have it you guys, that is how you achieve the double twisted crown and trust me it's really simple once you get into it. I love how it has the double twists only on the one side, it just makes it really unique depending what side someone looks at you on, it's like you have two hairstyles going on. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below, let me know what you guys thought. Also, I'm really curious what you guys got up to this summer. You have to let me know. I just got back from camping for the long weekend and it was the best way to end the summer. If by chance where you live you are transitioning into the warm weather, then you have to let me know what big plans that you have. So thank you guys so much for watching. There are a ton of exciting things coming, so stay tuned and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.